Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to episode four of Recipe Tuesday. If you watched episode three about my spaghetti sauce recipe, I happened to mention that there was going to be another recipe. I didn't want to say what it was, but this is the show that pertains to that. It happens to be a meatloaf recipe and what you're going to do. And it was done by accident. My father ran out of ketchup. That's what he normally used. So one time I just happened to over around the way just mention, hey, there's spaghetti sauce in the refrigerator. Why don't you try that? So he did. And once you go spaghetti sauce in a meatloaf, you will be absolutely hooked. You don't have to do anything to it. You don't have to chop up an onion. You don't have to put in your garlic because all of that is already in the spaghetti sauce. So it saves you a step or two. And, um, and it's a really good recipe. Um, Janet, I remember about a year or so back, you took the plunge and attempted to go ahead and try the recipe for yourself. Thank you, Steve. Hi, mm -hmm. everybody. How you doing? I did take the plunge, Steve. I actually did. Run, don't walk to the recipe that Steve is going to give you, the meatloaf recipe. I highly, totally recommend it. Why? Not because Steve's my friend, because I made it and I loved it. Just saying, just mm -hmm. saying. You know me long enough. I'm going to tell it like it is. If it's a yay or a nay, that meatloaf was a total yay. Really yeah. was, Steve. Mm -hmm. And it's affordable, which works oh, for me. Yeah. It, it, it is an affordable uh, thing to make. It's not as expensive because what you're doing is you're taking one meal, what, spaghetti sauce, you're going to have leftovers. And all you're doing is you're just taking that and incorporating it into another meal. Right. Um, the recipe is pretty easy. I'll, I, I'll go ahead and tell you exactly I, from memory. Uh, again, please understand when I make something, a recipe, I'm guesstimating. People ask me, well, how much of this do you put in? Well, how much of that do you? I have to guesstimate and roughly figure a half, a third, a quarter and put that down. I don't go by that, but this is how the recipe goes. You're going to need, depending on how many people you're serving, you may only need one pound. Usually I do a couple of pounds of, you know, hamburger meat, usually 85%, 90. 90 is my sweet spot. I prefer the 90 over anything. Um, then you're going to take one egg and add it to the hamburger meat mixture. You're going to take roughly a third of a cup of Parmesan cheese or whatever variation you want. Add that to it. All right. This is where it gets interesting. When I make the recipe, again, I learned this from my father when he ran out of breadcrumbs, but you can use that too. He put oatmeal in it, about a half a cup, add that to it, and I'll explain in a minute what the oatmeal does. And then you take about, you know, a third to a half a cup, again, I, est I guesstimate, and you add that to the sauce, my spaghetti sauce. And you mix it in, you know, well mixed. Then you're going to take the meat and put it in a, whatever you're going to cook it in, whatever roasting uh, pan or whatever it is, baking pan, cookie thing. You, you know what I'm talking about, the cookie, the cookie pan. Anyway, you put it in there. I could have the word wrong, but. Baking tray baking tray thank you that's it you add that you add your meat to it you form it you know then you take it and put it in the oven now two pounds of meatloaf usually takes me about 
an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. Again, it also depends on ovens. Ovens are different. 350 on one oven could be a little different from another. True. Um, now, I want to come back to the oatmeal. Why use oatmeal? This right here is a money saver. Oatmeal expands. So when you use oatmeal, like in meatloaf, you're going to yield more meatloaf than what you actually started with. It'll, it'll get a little bit bigger, which in actuality, it'll give you more meatloaf. It'll, it'll, you'll, you'll, you'll actually see it. The meatloaf will expand and get bigger. Use, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, when you did it, the meatloaf itself got... It bigger. plumps it out. It does not change the texture or flavor of the meat. If anything, maybe the meat take the meat texture gets a little softer, which is really nice, yeah. and keeps it moist. Zero taste change. Right. You taste the meat. You are not eating cereal meat. No, you're, you're not. eating meat. So anybody that's afraid to try it, Don't. do not be, because it is so good. And then you put that beautiful sauce in there. So can people swap out jarred sauce? If they don't have like a, a pre-made sauce that they made from scratch, you can, you can. There's no, there's no rule carved in stone that you have to have homemade spaghetti sauce. Just if you have jarred sauce around, that'll work just as well. Um, one of the sauces that I like to use, um, it's pretty much got a few variety, a few things in it. I know it has green peppers in it, and things like that. Um, one of the sauces that I like to use, it's jarred. I like Newman's Own. Oh. It, uh, they make a variety called Saka Rooney. And it's got a few things in it. It's not just plain marinara. It's got some green peppers and it's got, it might even have some chopped up onion in there somewhere. I'm not, I'm not, don't quote me on that. But it's not a basic sauce. It's got a little something in there. And I've used that in uh, a meatloaf and it turns out really good really good absolutely I, I mean and the other thing like if you're on a budget and you're looking for like a little you know extra little side dish i think we touched upon this in the past doing your rice trick uh uh steve make a side order of rice and string beans on the side you have a wonderful complete dinner there very nutritious great for the kids i'm sure your you know partner husband wife will love it. whoever's making it will love this recipe it is so good that sauce and those oats make such a thing you had parmesan cheese right steve i did mm -hmm. oh but i've don't get me wrong i've used um other variations in the sauce i've done parmesan romano uh craft makes a parmesan cheese that i currently have called three cheese blend that's also good um I want to mention, and there's a, I did a, a short or a small video about the rice method that you're talking about. Yeah. I'll explain it very quickly. Um, one cup of rice, two cups of water. Remember, for every cup of rice you use, double the water. One cup of rice, two cups of water, two cups of rice, four cups of water, and so on. You get a pat of butter, put it in there. Put a lid on your little saucepan, put it on the stove, put it on high, and you're going to bring it to a boil. Leave it on boil probably an extra 20, 25 seconds. Shut it off. Take it and move it to another burner and let the water evaporate for about 15 minutes. And then go back and check your rice and you will be amazed as to how simple and how easy it is to make rice that method and you never have to use minute rice and it saves you that extra money that you don't have to pay out and you don't have to go out and buy a rice cooker there's nothing i really don't even to me that's just another way to sell a potato quote unquote but, <laughs> but true once you go that method to make rice you won't you would not use any other method because it comes out fluffy and, and nice right you did it 
and I believe one of your subscribers also did it. And hey, listen, I was making, I was real rice phobic. Anybody out there that belongs to the secret club of real rice cooking phobia, put your hand up. Put your hand down, though. Try, try Steve's recipe method. It worked. I did it. I even made a video, and you helped me with that one. Remember, Steve? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. It was so good. Yeah, one of the pictures that you, on your video, with the rice and the meat, I had to go back as it was plain, and when it got to the right spot, I had to take a screenshot and then right. send it back to you. Um, you know what I love about meatloaf, Steve? It's very comforting. And what's left over, slice, go slice by slice, heat it up. Next day, make a sandwich. Sure. You got another meal. Yes, you do. That's three. Mm -hmm. So. Right. Highly recommend this recipe. Very yeah. good. Yeah, I do too. Try it. Uh, you won't be disappointed. You um, will not. You will not. If I didn't make it myself, I wouldn't be saying it. Yeah, right. This is a recipe, again, done by accident, on a whim. And my dad, this was back in the 80s sometime when he incorporated the sauce, you know, in the, in the, in the oatmeal. Um, like I said, it's been well over 30 years. And um, I would not change that for nothing in this world. Because like I said, when you taste of it, and you see the the you know that all all of your onions and all your flavor is there you will be absolutely hooked on this okay well um i want to thank everybody for tuning in today for this recipe tuesday like i said this is in conjunction with the spaghetti sauce recipe and um again stay tuned there will be another recipe Tuesday coming up next week. I have another pretty good recipe that I'm going to share with you on that that I think you guys will like. So be on the lookout for that. Sounds good to me, Steve. Me too. And, and it is good. All right. I just want to go ahead and wish everybody a good day, a good morning, or wherever your, your whatever setting of time it may be for you. And we will see you, or I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.